Hi there, I'm Julie Downey and I'm so glad you're here with me today because today's exercise is going to be standing up, something new. I had a great question come in from a baseball player and he is rehabbing from a recent surgery and he wanted to know a way to work with his arms so that he could throw more effectively once he's recovered. So pay close attention to the exercise if you have sustained an injury, either you know to your shoulder, or your elbow, your wrist, or your hands. I think it'll be highly useful for you. This is a non-weight-bearing exercise, so typically non-weight-bearing is safer in the beginning. And of course, use common sense, check with your doctor, make sure that it is okay to practice. So go ahead and stand up. And I want you to stand with your feet hip width apart. So the way to figure that out is to jump once. And the way you land, the way we land our feet is usually the best position for us. I know you can't see my feet, but they're roughly parallel. They're hip width apart. And I'd like you to shift your weight back towards your heels. So you're going to feel the back of your legs get active. You're going to feel your glutes activate. I want your feet active so it feels like you have arches in your feet and I'd like you to soften your knees. If you lock out in your knees, you kind of cut off blood supply to your head, so soften the knees. And now we're ready. Um, and I just want to mention one other thing. When you're throwing a ball, whether you know it's a football, a basketball, or a baseball, your hand is closed. And typically we're in internal rotation when we have to throw an object. So we're going to go to the opposite position in the exercise and that's why it works. So let's go ahead and start. Take your right hand on top and your left hand underneath, the palms face in. And as you're inhaling, you're going to flip your wrist. So now I've got right palm facing up left palm facing down and it's one long continuous movement until you straighten out your arms. Even I have to breathe. All right, on an exhale, bring your palms back in. They face each other. Now take the left palm on top, right palm underneath, flip your wrist and as you inhale, extend your left arm up and your right arm down towards the ground. On an exhale, you come back to center. We're going to do it again. Right palm on top, inhaling, extend. Right palm up, left palm down. Exhaling, coming back to center. Switch it up. Left palm on top, inhaling, extend. Right arm down, left arm up. Coming back to center, palms face in. And I'll keep repeating this until I've worked with each arm for at least two minutes. And if you want to get brave, you might work with this for five minutes a day. But it's going to require a little bit of effort on your part to start bringing this exercise into your daily routine two to five minutes a day. If you want to see long-term results, you're going to need to practice it for 30 days. But you will see a difference after the very first couple times you practice. So please send me your comments, your feedback, your results. You can send it all right here at juliedowney.com, right on my blog. I love your questions and comments. And if you would like to get a tip or technique like this, every week in your inbox, then again, sign up at my website. We'll get you all set up. And until the next time, this is Julie Downey. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to talking with you real soon.